Hi, this is Shirley Caruso, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use an online presenter called Novio, short for Knowledge Vision. You can sign into Novio at knovio.com. If you need to create a new account, you can do so right here, the sign up. I already have an account, so I am going to sign in. And when I'm signed in, you can see that I have a couple of presentations already existing on my account. But what I'm interested in doing for purposes of this tutorial is to create a new presentation. So I'm going to launch Novio. And the way Novio works is you import an existing PowerPoint presentation to start a new or create a new presentation. So the first thing you need to do for this assignment is to create your presentation in PowerPoint without any narrations because you can add the narrations here in Novio. You probably will get a pop-up box that asks you to allow any video, any audio, and it's completely safe to allow it. Novio is a safe program, so I'm going to allow that. And I already have created a PowerPoint presentation. Please note that for this assignment, you will need to create a two to three minute online presentation with audio narration using Novio for training purposes. You need to include a title slide and at least two content slides. The text information that you include on the slides should be clear and concise. The audio narration that you will record in Novio should explain the text or the image, but not read off the slides. The audio narration should be natural, clearly heard, and professional. So let's get started. Let's upload our slides. I have my presentation saved on the desktop. Here it is and it takes just a couple of minutes for the slides to upload. When your slides have uploaded, you click view your slides so that they populate within your dashboard and you can see here is my complete presentation. I have a title slide and I have at least two content slides. I have more than the requirement for this assignment but I would just like to show you how to add the narration. So once they are uploaded, and a good practice is to know what you're going to say about each slide. So you can do that right in PowerPoints by, you, by using the notes pane, or you can have it scripted out on a separate piece of paper. Then you say next step, which is to record the video. I'm sorry, the audio. You can also, if you have a camera attached, you can also record yourself narrating. So that would be this option here if you had a camera attached, but we don't, so we're just going to record audio only, and the assignment details are uh, to record some audio. You can include video if you would like. So here we have, I'm going to click on this first slide just to make sure we're at the beginning and then I'm going to say record and I'm going to have my script available as I'm recording. Hi, this is Shirley Caruso, Chief Editor of www.eadulteducation.org. Once you have finished recording, it goes to the next slide. If you don't have anything that you want to record on these slides, if you just want it to appear, you can advance the slides and go to the next one. Go to the next slide. Um, I do want to say something about this slide. So I am going to record, press record again, and 
give my introduct introductory of this slideshow. The topic of this presentation is Adult Learning Style Preferences. Okay, and you can pause during each recording or you could continue to record without pausing and just click advanced slide so that it will go to the next slide. So I'm ready to record this third slide and as you can see it has mostly images, it has some text, but what I'm going to say is not merely reading off the slides. Learning styles are a composite of the cognitive, affective, and physiological factors that serve as relatively stable indicators of how a learner perceives, interacts with, and responds to the learning environment. I stop between recordings just to catch my breath and I'm ready to go on to the next one. Learning style preferences. Learning style preferences are preferred methods of learning for an individual. Most adult learners develop a learning preference that is based on previous learning experiences. An assessment of the learner's learning style is an essential step prior to implementing training because it will help determine which instructional strategies will best meet the needs of the learner, thereby making the training effective. The most frequently used method of classifying adult learning styles is describing visual, auditory, and kinesthetic learners. Visual learners gain knowledge best by seeing or reading what you're trying to teach. Visual learners need to read, see, watch, and observe information. Auditory learners gain knowledge best by listening. They need to hear information. Their ears are their key to learning. Auditory learners prefer to hear the message or instruction being given. Kinesthetic learners gain knowledge best by touching, moving, and doing. These learners need to interact with information. Their hands and bodies are the key to learning. Please visit www.eadulteducation.org for more information on human resource development and information on adult learning theories and research in relation to the practice in the field of human resource development. Okay, so I've gone through all of my slides and I've recorded uh, just a little snippet of what I wanted to say about each slide to keep this tutorial down to a minimum. When you are finished, you can preview it to see if everything's okay. If you like what you see, you can then go to the next step, which is publish. And before you publish, you have to give your presentation a title. Let's save it. And once you have saved it, you can get the embed code or you can get a link to, or you can share on LinkedIn, I'm sorry, Facebook or Twitter. For the purposes of handing in this assignment, you would copy the embed code and then you would paste that into Desire to Learn. So to get the embed code, you would click here, copy everything's here, and then embed it into Desire to Learn. A copy is also saved under My Library, so when you click on My Library, you can see the presentation that you just created.
If you're not completely satisfied with your recording, you can go back and edit the recording. Everything here is populated and where you want to edit, you would click on that slide so it is viewed and this area here is the one that you would be recording and then you would re-record that slide. I hope you have found this tutorial helpful. See you soon.